Hi, this is Jen from Photoprop Floors and Backdrops, and again, I'm back in the studio. But this time it's to give you a little bit more of an informative video on our materials that we offer in the shop. The first material that I wanted to give a quick overview on is our vinyl coated canvas. And as you can see right here, the colors are very vibrant, and the durability is second to none. As you can see on the back here, uh, let me see if I can get a little closer, there's a bit of a texture on the back side, and you do see a little bit of texture on the front side, but when you're using this uh, in your sessions and you're shooting with your depth of field, uh, you will not really see those details in the images. Um, this holds up really, really well, especially to cake smashes. Uh, I use all of my vinyl backdrops for cake smash for the floors, and that way right after the cake smash I'm able to just use some soapy water and clean it right up. You don't need any harsh chemicals or anything like that. It comes clean. And uh, let's see if I can show you a bit of the thickness here. Really thick material. You'd have a really hard time ripping this. Uh, if you get a crease, I'll show you right here. If you get a crease in the material, all you gotta do is work it out a bit and if you leave that for a little while, that crease will just fade away. And uh, even if you use a little heat, we always say, that helps as well. So these are pretty durable. Uh, I tend to be a little bit rougher with mine because uh, in the middle of session, sometimes I just want to move quickly to the next backdrop. So you'll find me just kind of taking it off the stand and throwing it to the side and then asking either my assistant or myself will roll it up and kind of throw it off in the corner so that we can get to the next setup. These vinyl backdrops really hold up well. Uh, I can't say enough good things about their durability. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go over is our poly paper. Poly paper, yeah, it's deceiving when you call it paper because it's not really paper. Uh, it's a pretty heavy weight. I guess you might want to call it similar to poster material, uh, but as I'll demonstrate, let's see if I can do this while I'm taking the video. It's really, really, really hard to rip these. Uh, I've never ripped one before, and like I said, I'm a little bit rough with my backdrops. Uh, so, you can see, I am really trying to tear this it is not tearing no matter what I do. Yes, I made a little bit of dent there and that's why we say that poly paper is a little bit more sensitive than the vinyl. Uh, it's a little bit harder to work out when you really, you know, make a spot like this where you wreck it. But that's why we use um, the thickest quality that we can get for the poly paper. And this is one of my favorite uh, backdrops to use when the colors are darker. And this one here, I mean, I would totally use this in vinyl, but when you get to things like our chalkboard designs and designs that are mostly blacks and dark browns, you wanna go with the poly paper for the fact that it is 100% non-glare matte finish. Let's see if, if we can really show that finish. It's super smooth. No reflection from my out, uh, I've got my windows right here where you would think you'd cast a huge reflection in this direction and nothing at all. It's completely matte finish. Uh, so basically I recommend these for darker colors. When you have lighter colors you really can't go wrong with the vinyl because of its durability. And with the poly paper you just have to be careful because if you do bend it, which I'm not going to do with this, I probably can just do it here on the edge. If you bend it and it stays creased like that, you're gonna have a much harder time with getting that crease out. So that's why if you see in the corner here, when I clip my clamps on the backdrop stand, I just clip it on the white border. And that's why we leave the white border on so that you can you know, use it for things like that, whether you're tacking it to the wall, clamping it to a stand, or whatever kind of makeshift backdrop holder that you use. Okay, the next material that I wanted to go over is our rubber backed floors. Right now we've been calling them rubber back floors for quite some time because most of the styles that we offered were floor drops. And that's because they're pretty heavy weight. If you see here, the material is super thick. It's like a mouse pad. It has a neoprene backing and the front is like a cottony 
type of material and that's where they do all the printing. If you see right on this edge here, let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit better, you'll see this little white slip here is the printed portion. Uh, the colors are very lifelike, uh, very realistic. Of course I'm not showing you a really colorful one right now, but when you see the ones that have a lot of color to them, they're very vibrant. Uh, they are also machine washable. So you basically just take this whole rubber back floor. If you have a big enough washing machine, you can just throw it right in to clean it. So if you're doing a shoot where there's high traffic, this is a great uh, alternative to use. Uh, if you're doing preschools or something like that where you're gonna have so many kids walking through in their shoes, this is a great alternative in terms of floor drops. Now, I will not tell you that you can't hang it up. You know, you just need to have a sturdy backdrop stand. And I actually sometimes will use uh, this design or one of the other designs that we have uh, for a backdrop and then I have a second one some, for some of the designs and I'll actually use it as a floor drop too. And uh, you just have to make sure that you have a heavy duty clamp when you're doing that and that your backdrop stand can withhold the weight. Each one weighs approximately 10 pounds. Uh, yeah, they're very heavy duty. You know, so they're, they're like, um, imagine a giant mouse pad or a doormat. They basically have a really soft feel, and when you use them on a rug, you can get away with it if the rug is low pile. Uh, it won't really buckle as much if you have a nice firm rug that you're using it on. So that's another alternative for people who do not have hard floors in their studios. The last material that I wanted to go over for backdrops is our wrinkle resistant polyester fabric. And I quickly threw this up on the backdrop stand. Normally I probably would put another clamp in the middle there, but I just wanted to show everybody what this material is like. This is machine washable. Uh, we probably prefer that you put it on a delicate cycle, but if you can see here, the colors are extremely vibrant. Um, there is so many different sizes that we can print on the fabric. We have quite a few options available on our website. These are easy, easy, easy to use. As you can see, I just have it hanging up here. It's lightweight. The backing is white, so everything prints really nice on them. And I'm going to unclamp this from my stand and show you that I can ball this up when I'm done with it. Leave it just like that for the rest of the session if I'm in a hurry. And when I'm done and I roll it back out, you will see that there's no wrinkles. It's completely ready for another use. And uh, I had it hanging up there, you know, not very smooth for quite a while. And uh, I don't see any wrinkles at all. If you do see any wrinkles, you can put it in your dryer for a few minutes and uh, on a warm, gentle tumble and get any wrinkles out that you find. But uh, this is a great alternative because as you can see, I have one stored right here on my shelf. And it basically folds away so small and compact that I probably can fit 10 or 15 in just in that one square there. So this material is a great option uh, for space saving for those of you that don't have a lot of space to store your backdrops and something like this. Uh, on top of that, these come in much, much larger sizes than our vinyl and our poly paper at this time. So if you see, look how big that is on my backdrop stand. Much bigger you know, than the poly paper sitting right there or the rubber back floors, which are a little bit smaller in size. Uh, we're actually going to be expanding our rubber back floor line, so we're going to have a lot more designs on those coming soon. So, I think I've hit all the important points. Uh, any other uh, additional details can be found on our website, which is www.backdropsandfloors.com. And if you go to the FAQs page right on the left side, we have a section that talks about the materials, how to clean them, how to care for them, and things like that. So you can visit that as well if you don't want to view this long video. Anyway, I hope that uh, this was helpful and we'll have some more videos for you soon. Thank you.